Yo, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. I just want to show you how to install the new Ableton Live templates, the controller templates for Machine for Ableton Live 9, and they've also updated them for um, Live 8 and for both controllers, the MK2 controller, the micro controller, the original machine controllers, and the original machine micro. So I want to show you how to get those installed. So basically, the first thing you want to do is go into your service center. Because this is where you're going to actually download the files from. And I'm going to show you exactly where they are inside of your service center. So once it gets all your updates, whatever ones you need, the templates are not actually going to show up. Like you won't get a indicator that tells you you need it. So you want to go down here to your, your content updates. And then in there, you want to go and look for machine controller template for Ableton Live 8 and 9. So just go ahead and click it and download it. I don't need that one. That's for an older version of Contact Player. All right, so we got that. We can go ahead and exit. So you'll see inside this folder, you got your support files for Live 8 and Live 9. And you can see what's in there. You got your machine and then your machine MK2. And the same is going to be for here, machine and machine MK2. And then you actually have your templates. Now your templates, these you can pretty much just import them into the controller editor or you can drop them in the controller editor folder if you have your controller editor folder you can just drop all those in there so we're just going to go ahead and i'll just say drop them in so i'm going to take these i'm going to cut them out of there you can copy them you can move them whatever and i have my native instruments folder i got it open to the controller editor folder you can see documents native instruments controller editor and i'm going to just drop these in there and we'll go ahead and say replace all right, so now you can see the Live 9 and then all the Ableton Live controllers in there. So now, what you want to do after that is take these actual support files. So we're going to do Live 9. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to cut these out. And then now I need to actually go into the Ableton Live 9 folder. So we just open up another folder just so you can see where we're going. So I'm going to go over here to my C drive, go to my program files, and I got Live 9 Suite. That's my Live 9 folder. You want to go inside your resources, and you want to look for MIDI remote scripts. So once you go inside of there, you just jump, dump them in. It's pretty much the same for uh, Live 8. You find your Live 8 folder, you look for the resources, and you dump it in your MIDI remote scripts. So those are the two places that you need to drop the files, and then I'll show you how to open it up and set it up inside of Ableton. So let's just open up Ableton. The reason I did it before opening Ableton is so that Ableton will actually see those files in my remote script folder. All right, so we're inside of Ableton Live 9. I'm going to go up to Options. I'm going to go to Preferences. I'm going to go into my MIDI Sync page. Right here, I'm going to pick my control surface, which is going to be whatever machine you have hooked up. Right now, I got the MK2 hooked up. I could do this for all the machine controllers if I want to, but right now, I'm going to just do it for the MK2. It's going to be the same for the micro or for the original machine. So I'm going to click MK2. For my input, I'm going to choose the machine MK2 input. For my output, I'm going to choose that. And you can see it shows up down here. It's got the track on. And you see right here, got the track input on. And also just turn on your remote so you turn that on and now you're pretty much ready to go your machine controller is going to control Ableton and you get all the different functions and you know shortcuts and all that different stuff that they have mapped to the machine controller which is really really deep um, I'll have a different video a different tutorial showing exactly what you can control inside of Ableton but this is just strictly showing you how to set up the new machine controller templates for Ableton Live 9 this will also work for Ableton Live 8 just follow the same kind of directions that I showed you put the files where they need to go in terms of the different folders and you go in and set it up the same exact way so of course if you got any questions let me know this is St. Joe MachineTutorials.com showing you how to install the new machine controller templates for Ableton Live 9 Peace.